Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now as Margaret with the Lawrence Arts Center. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Thanks for having me. Of course. I'm very excited to talk with Lawrence Arts Center. Uh, we've, you know, been there a yes. handful of times the past uh, couple years or so. Absolutely. Enjoying a lot of your, some of your events and festivities. Yeah. Soup day was delicious. <laughs> Good. Yay. <laughs> I Thank still have it in our cupboard right now. Our little bowl we bought that yes. one day. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah, so to start out, just uh, <laughs> tell our viewers out there about the Lawrence Arts Center. What's going on over there? Um, well, the Lawrence <laughs> Arts Center is a community art center. We do three things, performances, um, exhibitions, and education. Very heavy on the education um, in, in all areas of the arts. I always say we're the one-stop shop, one -stop shopping for all of your art needs. Mm -hmm. um, uh, right now we have the art auction coming up. Um, it's a show that has over 150 artists in it donating work for our annual fundraiser, which is the art auction on the 13th. Um, there's 178 pieces of art, all price ranges, um, artists from all over. So we have internationally known artists like Roger Shimamura and Hong Zhang to um, people who are popular in the region like Louis Copt and Lisa Grossman. Um, Angie Pickman is our uh, featured artist this year. She's um, she's actually she's from Atchison. Um, she does cut paper works, um, but she's actually starting to really kind of blow up. She was just on Martha Stewart Living, and yeah, Ooh. so we have yeah. So what is the range of um, like media that we can auction that we can bid on? Um, everything. Everything. We have okay. everything. You name it, we've got it. It's uh. we've got jewelry, we've got small sculptures, we've got um, functional ceramics, we have painting drawings, prints, uh, I mean, it's it's a whole variety. And that's kind of what makes the Lawrence Art Center unique, right? Yes, I mean, really, yes. is, is like, because you're not only working with all the different types of visual art and tactile art, but mm -hmm. you also have performances as well. We do, we do everything. So we have, um, we do professional theater and concerts, and then we also have educational. We have the School of Theater and Music that has productions. We have the School of Dance that has productions. Actually, we have um, the Classical Ballet Firebird coming up with the Lawrence Ballet Theater. Oh, There's wow. a, um, we have a pre-professional ballet company, um, part of Regional Dance America, and it's, um, every year they do uh, classical ballet to learn the repertoire uh, and and so the firebird is a really really beautiful ballet that's also coming up oh it sounds wow. gorgeous mm -hmm. it sounds amazing so much uh, exciting stuff going on over there like yeah, what are some of the I guess obstacles for an art center to, to keep going every <laughs> every day <laughs> well it's you know it's always a bit of a nail-biter mm -hmm. in terms of the funding um, so we have we we exist through ticket sales and and tuition and then also we have very very generous donors and sponsors and a community that really support, I mean, we wouldn't be here if the community didn't really support us. Um, it's our 50th year. Wow. Um, so 50 That's years, of, right? Um, but Kansas, sadly, is second to last in the nation in funding for the arts. So, um, like I said, it's always a bit of a nail biter, mm. which is why we do, you know, big fundraiser like the art auction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And with the art auction now, how can people uh, bid on the, the pieces? Like, where can they go to kind of see everything? Because I looked at the lineup uh, not too long ago. There's some fantastic stuff that you guys are auctioning off. Well, they can go to our website and just go into, um, you know, current exhibitions, and the art auction will just like, pop right up. Um, you can find it all sorts of places, but you just click on that. And there's it. It'll lead you right to um, an app called BidPal, and it's you can bid online on your phone, on your computer, um, and then of course on April 13th it was we have a live auction. So um, the pieces are split between silent auction, which is what you can bid on right now online, and then we have 32 lots um, that'll be live auctioned on the 13th, and it's. It's like, it is such a fun show. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I would love to go to pretend I am like a fancy person at Sotheby's or something, <laughs> like holding up my paddle for a priceless work of art. I mean, I was just thinking on the way out here that, so Christie's and the Sotheby's, like when you go, when you see the pictures, they're just very formal, you know? <laughs> and the art auction is not like that. I it love is, it. It's, a, it's just a party. I always call it the art prom. Um, <laughs> so we have great food, we have drinks, sign signature cocktails, um, and then we all go into the theater and and watch or bid and it's 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 like a party in the theater. I love that. Yeah, in true party. Kansas spirit. Totally. It's not snooty. Yeah. Everyone is welcome. Totally. And the pieces are affordable and they're they're truly one of a kind. Absolutely. That's oh, absolutely the so, truth. So, so exciting. Oh, so much fun. And with the silent auction, when does that end? It ends at 7.15 p.m. on April 13th. 
Okay. So at, during the auction, and then okay. that ends, and then we all go into the theater to do the live stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have to. I'm gonna have to uh, do my bidding keyboard yes. warrior here. See what <laughs> I can get, so I can get my hands on. Right. Like I said, there were some wonderful pieces. I want to go back through the whole auction, silent auction again, and check out that. Check out what's going on there. Mm -hmm. And of course, April 13th. We have to put it on the calendar. I uh, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Well, Margaret, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. And of course, everybody, if you want to learn more, you can visit lawrenceartcenter.org.